This is the most exclusive and renowned tourist destination in Europe. A dreamland built in southern Portugal's most secluded region. A place of beauty and constant inspiration committed from the start to sustainability and environmental security. It is home to many celebrities from all over the world that continually create vast opportunities and interest for the region. It is truly a star-spangled audience living in the amazing surroundings of Algarve's crown jewel, the Ria Formosa. But this award-winning, world-renowned destination for luxury lifestyle, where families can live their dream life in a secure and clean environment, would not have become the timeless destination that it is now without the far-sightedness and contribution of several important people in the development of Quinto de Lago. The concept is so strong. Continue that focus. There is nothing like Quinto de Lago. These are the people that dared to dream of a place that did not yet exist and that brought it to life from a mere possibility in the past to a present reality that were able to create a place, a culture and an industry that today is worth hundreds of millions and captures the imagination of so many of us while paving the way for future generations to come. Quinta do Lago's 50th anniversary is a marvelous opportunity to thank the man and woman behind this incredible development. Over the years, I've witnessed firsthand the way Quinta do Lago has developed into the amazing, award-winning destination it is today. As well as those that throughout the years have pushed forward the boundaries of the original concept and brought it to the 21st century with a flair for the good life we all love to live. And I'd like you finally to say, let's raise a glass and remember those who partied hard with us before and who are not here with us today. And let's all enjoy the evening and see you in the next 50. Thank you very much. In the silence, listen. May it lift your heart and move your feet to run again. May you wander far. You will not. Quinta de Lago, acima de tudo, é uma quinta virada para os residentes. Foi o que eu fiz aqui a vida inteira, praticamente considero os vizinhos, é uma família. Diremos que a Quinta de Lago é uma família. In the beginnings of the early 70s, Quinta do Lago was just another pine tree and marsh infested land. I remember exactly the first time I saw this property. Someone in the middle of the bush saw the grounds for an international five-star golf and real estate resort. There was no access of any kind. We drove through, it was pine, trees, and sand. And I saw the ria, the dunes, the beach, and I said, this is unbelievable. And I sort of foresaw the whole project. Sr. Jorge, aquilo tinha uma, uma cabeça para o pensamento, o homem sempre planeou isto e foi e bater certo. He was certainly ahead of his time in his thinking. 
way ahead of his time. He'd done a fantastic job getting it off the ground and he had a great, great ideas. The architect, Bill Mitchell, who designed the golf course after we've been through the whole property said to me, you found the best land I've ever seen for golf. And in early 1972, the opening of the resort's first facilities and accommodations were concluded, plus the bridge across the beach, the creation of the lake, and the completion of William F. Mitchell's initial 27-hole layout. We had, I think, two kilometers of beachfront here, but we needed uh, interior development, so that's where the golf course went. During this time, the resort welcomed its first guests. Lembro perfeitamente da inauguração da Casa Velha e um Chateaubriand extraordinário. The original Casa Velha was a sophisticated type of country house. Quickly gaining a reputation among the traveling elite as the place to be. Passou cá o Roger Moore, o Michael Caine, George Michael, por exemplo, Peter Gabriel while being favorably featured in several international publications. But there is a beast in this Cinderella story too. The military coup of April 25th in 1974 triggered a chain of events that would put a hold on any further development. When we left, when I left, I didn't think I was going to ever come back. Still, troubled times are for resilient people. And a work committee with 300 workers, very few resources, low wages, but plenty of resolve kept the resort going while ensuring its golfing reputation at the highest levels. I was very surprised when the government decided to return the properties to its owners. The Portuguese Open in 1976, held in Quinta do Lago, represented an unrivaled achievement for the resort. And between 1976 and 2001, Quinta do Lago hosted the Portuguese Open a total of eight times. One of the things that we've seen uh, throughout the explosion of golf in the last number of years, and particularly from my country in, in Ireland, uh, is the value that golf can bring into the local economy. So the leading sport in terms of investing in an economy is golf. And particularly when you've got a quality, um, you know, down here you, you tick a lot of boxes and that's why uh, Quinta de Lago, uh, you know, accessible, easy to easy accessible as well with, uh, with transport and flights in here, is, has become, you know, one of the outstanding uh, resorts anywhere in the world. The 33rd Portuguese Open, held in 1989, was arguably Quinta's most memorable. I used to come here on, on, on a holiday, uh, and to come here and win the Volvo Tour as it was, the European Tour event here was so special. Colin Montgomery, who took the title with a final score of 24 under par, breaking the course record along the way with a round of 63. I didn't know how that progression was going to be, I didn't know how the career was going to be, but, but to, to win here at Quinta de Lago. When I come through the first roundabout here, when I visit Quinta de Lago, I just relax because I, I know that, you know, this is a fantastic place to visit, to come to. It was like nothing else in Europe. It was so beautiful to see the beach, the Ria Formosa, you know, the golf courses and the whole resort. It was something very, very special as such. A little over 25 years ago, it, it needed something else. It needed something different and that's where Dennis O'Brien and Catherine and their family came in, uh, who's another visionary, who's got a huge vision and has invested huge amounts of money in here. It needed that firepower to take it to the next level. Nós podemos dizer que nós, os portugueses e os irlandeses, são muito, muito parecidos. Talvez os irlandeses mais animados. Mas foi uma passagem sem estragar. Depois dessa passagem toda, pegaram nisto e foram mantendo o que é difícil. O que é difícil foram mantendo 
e dando o seu cunho pessoal que são irlandeses. Quando meu pai e eu vimos o desenvolvimento e para ver como sensivelmente ele foi feito, where the natural beauty of Quintalago was always so important to the owners, particularly Andre Jordan. It was just a matter of carrying that tradition on and making sure that we were always going to do the right thing in terms of the way the resort would be managed and developed. Well, certainly Quintalago has gone to another level since uh, the late 1990s when uh, Dennis O'Brien came involved and saw the potential that it had. And, um, I think everybody's been a winner on the back of that, whether you're, whether you're a house owner here or whether you're somebody coming down to play. It's got better and better every year. And even now, you know, he's never set on his laurels and there's a huge reinvestment going back into Quinta de Lago. Under O'Brien's radar, Quinta do Lago has matured into a truly successful example of luxury residential and golf tourism worldwide going from strength to strength, increasingly becoming a favorite destination for families. So Quinta del Lago has been changing over the last number of years. We've, have, we've seen a lot more younger families living in Quinta del Lago, buying homes in Quinta del Lago. And these families, a lot of them have had uh, connections with Quinta del Lago in the past. So their parents or their grandparents would have been visitors of Quinta del Lago down through the years. We've been living and working in London for, for years and obviously we know Quinta really well from coming out here with my family. And so, you know, when the opportunity to leave London came about and we didn't have to kind of go into work anymore, we wanted to go somewhere with a good climate, somewhere that feels safe, somewhere where we can, you know, there's good infrastructure for the kids and they can grow up. And so I think Quinta del Lago, you know, as I, as I already have family out here as well, makes a lot of sense for us. And we looked at loads of different places and everything, everything we did drew us, back to, uh, drew us back to Quinta. In 2015, we were deciding what we were going to do and Alan started to look for places in Portugal and this is what he found. Uh, but we were looking for somewhere where we could, re we could uh, replicate the outdoor South African lifestyle, but obviously have the security that South Africa can't offer. And when we found uh, Quinta del Lago, we realized we ticked the boxes in terms of the outdoor South African lifestyle, but obviously ticked the box of a very secure uh, and comfortable uh, estate. It was a very quick decision once we saw just what Quinta del Lago had to offer. Nowadays, to, to attract the the families that we want to attract uh, for Quinta del Lago, it needs to have an established area. It needs to have a lifestyle and a culture that they can, you know, come and visit and get the feel for it. The, the new spaces, uh, the new restaurants, the constant change of the outlets, bringing in new life, they have all allowed for Quinta del Lago to renew itself constantly. And, and that's something that Quinta has known how to do. With ongoing improvements, new facilities and amenities, including a third golf course, new restaurants with children's playgrounds, and the Paul McGinley Golf Academy. Paul McGinley Golf Academy had a, a huge impact on me as a player and as a person, and obviously it had a, a huge impact in me as a pro golfer because I grew up playing here. I started in the summer golf camps, the, the junior camps for kids. You know, we have a McGinley Cup, a junior cup during the summer, which is unbelievable how many kids come and play in that, boys and girls. And, you know, every year we try to make that better and better and better, a good experience for them. And uh, it's great to see uh, so many kids returning down here and families returning down here um, and seeing the kids evolve as golfers. I decided that I would like to become a pro golfer and do this for a living every day. Obviously, I practice every day in Quinta do Lago. I use the gym in Quinta do Lago. So the lifestyle that Quinta do Lago allows me to have is the best as a pro golfer and as a pro athlete. Golf is a wonderful sport uh, for them because even if they're not going to make the elite level, golf is, is, is brilliant for them in life and in business because it's the, the places you go and the people you meet. 
that's the two biggest things that golf can give you. And if you can play to a decent standard, hasn't been, doesn't have to be particularly good, but just a decent standard, it's amazing how many opportunities will open up for these boys and girls as they grow up and you know they start, uh, you know, going into work environments and, and start socialising. And uh, it creates many many opportunities uh, to network, and, and and network is a very important part of life and a very important part of business. My wife became chair of the business about five years ago and she said, look, we have to got to reinvent Quinto Lago. We have to get younger clients, you know, clients in their 30s and 40s with young children so that we can renew our, our client base but also all the people, our owners in Quinto Lago. So, as part of her plan, it was to develop the campus very quickly and to build campus into a world-class sports centre for people to have a healthy lifestyle. The campus has been in the, in the pipeline for a number of years and we took some time to make sure that we designed something that was unique, uh, very unique for not just Quinto de Lago but for Portugal. The opening of the campus High Performance Sports Hub has made Quinta do Lago one of the finest wellness and lifestyle resorts in Europe, quickly becoming a fly-to destination for the world's elite sports stars and athletic champions, as well as a favourite spot for health and fitness enthusiasts and active families alike. When I decided to see where it was best to do rugby camps that I had run back in Ireland, I obviously saw what the campus had to offer and it was a very easy decision. The whole campus is state of the art. The facilities in general are exactly what you need as a professional team or as an amateur team or even if you're on holidays or if you live in the area. It's, it's exactly what you're looking for when you're, you're thinking the very, very best. So to come down here, gorgeous sunshine usually, and to play in warm temperatures and to be able to really work on the skills you need in rugby to develop your game, this has been the obvious choice of location. The minute I walked onto the pitches, the minute I saw the facility, I understood and knew why teams like PSG come and train here. The first thing I said to my son when I got back to the hotel, I said, son, the pitch you're about to play on is top, top level. I can't wait for you to see it. You should be excited to be on this pitch. The fact that you can give that to the kids and say that to the kids and see their faces when they walk on it, it makes them feel like they've become professionals, which is a fantastic thing to see. Campus has really been a game changer for us and it was at the right moment of time for the resort to, to kick into this new era. O campus como desporto, que é o vinho irlandês, portanto não é só. Agora temos, tínhamos o golfe, agora temos o golfe e outros, como o rei vem, por exemplo. As we were building the, the campus and we were putting a lot of time into researching you know, what type of teams we would want to uh, attract here. So we took on the project of the Magnolia Hotel, revamped it and made it, you know, 1920s motel style. It's a fun place for families and when the football teams and rugby teams are down, they love it because they have it exclusive to themselves. I'm doing a project with Quinta. I emphasize the word with Quinta. It's not just that we're doing a project for a client. Uh, we are working along with them. The standards in Quinta de Lago are, are high and our client knows what they want. They always want to, to raise the bar, to go higher. That's what makes it challenging, but that's what makes it great. With no frontier in sight, Quinta do Lago's vision continues to expand beyond the original plan. And we'll continue to build new uh, developments over the next couple of years. We'll go more down the route of sustainability, 
in particular because where we are, we're, we're on the Rio Formosa, and Quinta do Lago is a sanctuary for in itself. It's a sanctuary for people, it's a sanctuary for a lifestyle, and we want to continue that. I, I craved for this balance, balance between what is natural, balance between what is man-made, between the construction, and uh, it's an example. It's an example that you don't see everywhere. You don't see in many places that the architecture is not trying to take over. There is a proportion, there is a ratio that makes sense. And that gives the whole thing its equilibrium, its harmony. That, I, I feel, is what makes this a, a magical place. Always encouraged by the comfort, well-being and excellence that the Algarve is so well known for. So now I think in our 50th year, you can reflect back and see how great the master plan was, how, how fantastic it was in the beginning, the importance of that injection 25 years ago by Dennis O'Brien and with his vision to really transform the resort and bring it to what it is today. This is certainly a resort that has changed over the years, has changed for the better. When you realize that this has been going for 50 years, and you look at the state of it now and kind of the infrastructure that you have, the restaurants, the facilities, you realise like it, it takes a long time to make an amazing resort. I know Quinta del Lago a lot less well than Ollie because I haven't been coming here for so long, but I think it's just probably testament to the fact that it has developed quite organically over the 50 years. It feels like it has like a real like heart and soul and people that come here have been coming for so long and they love it and you can kind of like feel that in the people that you meet around. I don't like the quality of the places that are here. Um, and I just don't think that's something that you could, springs up in five, 10 years or something. So I think that is something that needs, <laughs> needs the, longe the longevity to develop. So it's kind of a celebration of that, I guess. I believe that Kintel Lug will continue uh, to progress to even higher levels uh, in, in the next 50 years. And, you know, the next 20, 30, 40, and 50 years is going to be Really, really exciting. Acho que a Quinta do Lago está ao, ao, ao nível dos melhores sítios que eu vi no, no mundo. If you had to try and summarize it in one word, it would probably be something around enjoyment enjoyment of the golf, enjoyment of all the, the, uh, the restaurants, obviously the bars <laughs> as well. <laughs> this is now chill time, relaxed time, and there's no better place uh, than Quinta del Lago to do that. Absolutely. Well, my father was chairman of uh, Quintalago for 15 years and he was a diver. So we decided to celebrate him in some small way with this wonderful piece of sculpture in the middle of Danos. <laughs> 